That would be me, one Davi Rolando. <laughs> and let's keep it real. This is the day that we all individually dread when it's our day for Plead the Fifth, just because we know what it is. So we go around the room. Orlando's out, so our boy Buck is in the building with us today. He's always strapped up, ready, <laughs> locked and loaded with questions. We're going to go around the room, and then we're going to take it to you guys. So if you have a, a, a question, something that you could think of right now, you might as well call us or shoot us a text, 888-429-0941. Question number one goes to Buck. All right, here we go. Let's Let's just say... Corporate making some changes. Okay. Were well, they coming in swinging hard? Oh, no. Orlando, gone. gone. Whoa. Gone. Off the, still the company, off the show. Oh. Okay. They say, Davi Rolando, you're the man now. You are the host. But, I've been waiting my whole oh, life for Oh, the this. show's what? going downhill. <laughs> trust me. The, the, the trust thing me. is, the thing is, you can only keep... One of these two, Mark or Meredith, to keep by your side. Is this going to be the, the third show? time I get fired on this segment? Oh, my God. Oh, man. Who who would I keep? Who would you keep? I mean, there's only one right answer. Yeah, there only is one right answer. So uh, Mark and his jeans are going to go. What? <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I have the beauty. I'd have to let you go to keep the beauty for for sure. Mark is an invaluable asset, but clearly not. <laughs> Orlando has fired me. You fired me, and Meredith has fired but me. But like I'll like O you. said, and I'll reiterate what he said. Like a lot of shows, most shows don't have the luxury of having a producer. Yeah, for sure. Mark is honestly good enough that he could run a show by himself. He could be in this seat. So I would I would let you go. But for growth. I would right. do it for you, bro. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Way to cover that up at you, the end, man. You also could have said that you could have given him a promotion and he would have been the next co-host. See? Was Did that... Would, would, would no. That, no. Oh, that was part of the deal? <laughs> sorry, I was trying to help you out. Mary's trying to throw out that lifeline. Yeah, yeah so sorry, Mark. You got to go. so, so special But right I wouldn't now. even... You know what? I wouldn't even feel that bad because Mark is so connected in the game. That's true. That fool would have a, another job before he turns his key card in. Yeah, but he would want to take a little break in South Carolina. For <laughs> know that. <laughs> know that if I ever get let go, I'm going to South Carolina for like six months. <laughs> All right, cool. Meredith? Uh, so we've talked a lot about sexual experiences here on Owen the Freak Show. Um, you know, Davi, you dropped a lot of info on us. Too much info. <laughs> right, and it's been, some of it has been so hilarious and embarrassing. I, I just want some more. Okay. I want some more information. What do you want to know? So we've talked about, um, <laughs> you know, maybe exes that you've had sex with. We've talked about multiple women oh, in the same day. Sounds awful. We've talked about, um, you know, threesomes. Oh, you're a dirty dog. Oh, man. Yeah. So what's the question? <laughs> so have you ever had an orgy before, meaning more than a threesome? Wow. Um, we... <laughs> We, we, we done the, um, we, who's we, we need an explanation. Well, I, it was like you and your girl. No, no, oh. no, no. My girl is a saint. She would never, I would never allow anything like that. Um, yeah, I, I, I had a girl that I was talking to and I had a homie that was like maybe dating or talking to another chick. And, um, we skipped school. I was in high school. We skipped school one day and went to one of the girls house cause her parents weren't there. So we all like. The four of us started hooking up, like with our, you know, with our partner, all in the same room. But then wow. they, we did like the little swap. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We did the swap, the switcheroo. <laughs> yeah, come yeah. under the rope, dog. We did, yeah, we did the switcheroo, wow. and then we switched back. And oh my god, yeah. And then the the, the girls spent a little time together. Oh. Yeah, I'm and glad wow. I didn't go to school that day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, just to clarify, Wait. it was just the girls, right? Just the girls. I'm yeah. asking. Yeah, we were just watching. Is it okay. safe that we said all that on the radio? I, I don't yeah, know there was nothing. Like, we said switching. Okay. So we didn't go in depth with oh, everything, man. although Dobby went in depth. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So as in depth as possible. That's what you, she said. You've explored a lot, Dobby. Okay. Um, honestly, man, I have two questions for you, and I'm. I don't know which one to ask. Indecisive mark. Uh, typical me. <laughs> Strikes <Right>. again. <laughs> um, let's go with this one. What's been your biggest mistake so far in life, and what did you learn from it? Oh like, man! Like what messed up, Davi Rolando? I don't know if it's my biggest mistake, but one thing that I definitely, definitely regret 
is when I was younger, my mom was always trying to get me to like learn these musical instruments. She would like she would beg me to sign up for like piano lessons or learn the guitar or something. And all I wanted to do was play sports. I just wanted to go play baseball, play basketball. I would always tell her that that is soft. That's for punks and yeah. all kinds of stuff just because I wanted to go outside and play. Yeah. Now, oh man, if I could play the piano, like I, I am jealous of anybody who can get behind the keys and really okay. do their thing. So if I could flash back, I would I would take her up on that You still offer. got time though. It's not like you're you yeah. Dying. No, no, you're right. Um, I spend more time like just practicing like DJ stuff and turntablism and things like that. Yeah. I didn't know that was an ism. That it absolutely is an <laughs> ism. Yeah, it's a big, it's a big ism. But yeah, I really regret not taking her up on the offer to like, especially the keyboard. Yeah. That, that, that would have been great. All right. So, whew, all right, three down and what five to go? And we want, we want listeners. Yeah, listeners, hit us up right now. You can call us or you can text us eight 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 four two nine zero nine four one. Yo, what up? What's going on, man? All right, bro. It's plead the fifth time. No repeat questions. You are live. Can ask anything. All right. I've got a question for you. The question is, what do you hate about working with the freaks this early in the morning? Um, Aside from getting up and being up this early in the morning. Thank you for your question, Baron. Um, What do I hate? What do I hate? Um... You, on, to be a hundred percent honest with you guys, one of the things that I I don't I wouldn't say I hate it, but what, one of the things that's a little bit the most off putting for me is having to like research and get a bunch of knowledge about things and people that I really don't care about. <laughs> like I loathe anything Kardashian. Oh, you I hate, hate that. I hate yeah. Kardashians, but a lot of people find them very fascinating, and as part of our job, we gotta I, I we gotta know what Kim had for breakfast this morning. Yes. For so sure. that that is probably my pet peeve working here is just having to like fake it. I don't even fake it. I tell y'all straight up, I hate them. <laughs> I will we'll give you the news and everything like that. But having to follow all that world and stuff like that, uh, I I could do without. Uh, I got a text. It says, Davi, Mark, and Meredith were asked these questions in a variation. But have you ever been propositioned recently by someone other than Joanna, your girlfriend? Uh, who was it? What happened? Can you give us some information? Um, I get, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> if your DM looks anything like my yeah, DM, which I'm sure it does. You know what? It, it's being in, in, in the public eye and um, whatever preconceived notions people have of us there there's a lot and women these days are very outgoing they are confident forward and forward and they're not afraid to you know if they want something go after it mm -hmm. so i don't want to say i get propositioned all the time that would sound that would sound really bad but it it happens it happens often either online or even just being out okay all stuff right like that all right davi i got one right here um do you let your girl go through your phone? No. <laughs> now, what does that mean? Me personally, I want to know. Like, um, how do you stop that? I, d I don't. Are Give you asking for help with this? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm just curious. I, I don't <laughs> stop it. Maybe she does, and I don't know about it. Um, I'm early in our relationship. It was like a conversation that we kind of had. Not like a conversation, like don't look at my phone. And I, it, it was just one of those things that she could leave. She could leave her phone next to me and like go take a shower and I won't look. Wow. I, I really I really won't look. And I feel like it's the same way with her. So there's no lock on my phone or anything like that. But it just and it seems to work. It's uh, trust. trust. It's, yeah. It is. It's yep. trust and we don't fight about petty, stupid little stuff. And um That's why y'all been together for so long. Yeah. So it works out. Yeah. Question four, you have two left. What is one sexual desire you want your girl to do but she won't do. Bring a couple of friends in. Oh. <laughs> Just like two or three. <laughs> Another orgy diet. Yeah, why not? I mean, with you and yeah, your maybe, yeah, maybe one of her friends. Right. It could be one or, yeah. I don't think she's ever going to go for that, but I'll, I'll keep trying. <laughs> I think this is the last one. Yeah, last one? this is the last yes. one. Um, I'm going to either go with the one I showed you, Buck, or am I going to go with something else? Man, I would do something else. Okay. I just... No, you don't like oh, the one. No. Okay, Davi, <laughs> when was the first time your mom ever busted you uh, for a recreational habit that you seem to have? It was my father. My my pops used to bust me, and all the time. 
he he busted me on occasions. Um, How'd you get caught though? The the one where he really really freaked out on me for some reason or another. He had to go in my car, which was technically his car. That you know it was his car, so he had to go in there. And I remember his words. He said, "Son, it smells like a barbecue in there." <laughs> <laughs> and then and then he pulled out. He found like a little tiny. I mean, maybe like five dollars worth. Uh, and he was like, and you're driving around with pounds and pounds. I was like, where? Where are the pounds? <laughs> There's pounds in there? Yeah. <laughs> what you do with them? Uh, is that it? Am I done? Yeah, you did. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Right. How um, do you feel? I feel relieved <laughs> a little bit. I'm actually surprised that there were no, like, if this guy and then this guy. That was the question. Both, I, I had a feeling. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys.